We are making a rubber ball and the first of all you need to do is pour 20 millilitres of the latex solution into a beaker and add a couple of squirts of vinegar or lemon juice. And mix. And then you can add more lemon juice or vinegar if the liquid sticks in the beaker and doesn't start sticking to the stirring machine. And, and that will... vinegar is an acid which helps to solidify the mixture. Okay. What um, else is in the, the latex solution? There was another chemical which was there. Ammonia. Ammonia. So what type of reactions are best when you get in with the ammonia and the weak acid? So what's um, happening, gentlemen? Now, now that we've mixed it, it's turned into a big ball, and um, we're now going to put it into the water. We've chose hot water because we think that it's going to slow. It's not. It's not going to go as quick. So, Tom, what's it not going to do as quickly? Um, solidify. Okay. Why is it floating? Uh, the vinegar is used to neutralise the ammonia, which enables the uh, latex to solidify on the uh, stirring wood. Okay, so now all the latex rubber has all been sucked up by our big beastie ball, and so I'm just going to put it in some water. Yes. <laughs> so we're putting it in, in this water to uh, wash off all the excess chemicals. Now Laura will dry it. So Sebastian, what is the actual material that you've used? Rubber, which we've used, is actually a natural polymer and it's produced from a rubber tree, which when cut, the rubber drains out as a white liquid. Okay, Laura, um, so what does that mean about the reaction? And um, that simple, let's say, polymer can be cross-linked to make it solid. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Well done. We're now going to show you how to make these buns.